some scholars have pointed out the, out the marginal role of child rearing in discussions on parenting and, and parenting support, but I was uh, quite surprised that um, that child rearing was actually presented a fairly, fairly popular topic in Finnish parenting support projects. And, um, but this child rearing was often discussed in, in relation to particular uh, technique called kasvatuskumppanus. It means like parents are, um, parents are like partners with professionals in child rearing. So some kind of cooperation, cooperational um, concept. And um, so, um, also parents as partners, it kind of implies this partnership and shared responsibilities between professionals and partner parents. Um, according to my analysis, um, these professionals actually complain that they are assigned too many, too uh, many child-rearing responsibilities, and that parents should take more responsibility for their children. So it was kind of, uh, um, it was cooperational uh, uh, co uh, concept, but it was kind of still used to put more responsibility to parents. And I, <coughs> I framed the uh, analysis of this child rearing discussed by, uh, for example, by Riesmann's theory of social characters. And I, um, there, there are three s social characters Riesmann has uh, introduced, traditional, tradition directed, inner directed, and other directed social character. <laughs> and in this, um, in my analysis, I, uh, these um, uh, professionals in, in uh, try to kind of support parents' inner capabilities so that um, it was th so that parents should rely on their inner competence. So it was a kind of this inner direction a parenting model they wanted to support. But then again, they didn't trust parents. Uh, capacities so there was this kind of and uh, the untrust uh, they didn't trust it because uh, they saw that there are no values uh, which they, the parents could uh, rely on or shared values so um, it was there was a dilemma there was a tension and a kind of uh, they didn't the experts in in the project they didn't know how to uh, how to solve the problem, actually. So it was um, very interesting. There. And another uh, way to, well, well, how I have analyzed this individualized parenting support is, um, is um, when I looked more carefully uh, early intervention, uh, how it has been used in the documents and um, so the emphasis of this inner expertise of parents becomes uh, very well art articulated through this specific discussion of early interventionist parenting support and in this early interventionist parenting support uh, um, support focus on the conduct of parents, the nucleus of which lies in the parent-child relationship. And it is saddled with a heavy burden and a source of, and solution to wide range of social ills. And the logic of this early intervention is parenting support uh, encompasses um, uh, certain thematic competence such as activating parents into responsible parenting and enabling latent and quiescent parenting capacities. And also this early intervention <coughs> parenting support is uh, kind of crucial to activate uh, um, something that has been called reflexive agency so that parents are like reflecting a lot, uh, reflecting they, whatever they do with the baby and, or child and also what others are doing. 
So, um, <coughs> so, but these experts in these family projects, they do not provide any advice how to kind of, uh, th this is my kind of um, conclusion from this, this, um, uh, this early interventionist um, talk, is that they do not, uh, the experts do not um, provide advice on how to raise uh, children per se because that is not uh, the kind of purpose of this early intervention is parenting support like practical advice for for child rearing or or for or for example help for short term child care or and housework or some other kind of support which could be also part of the parenting support but is not uh, it kind of uh, i think it's uh, it's because uh, the reason why that is not included there is simply because it does not fit within this um, individualized parenting support approach adopted uh, by these projects. And so it um, only focuses on strengthening uh, parenting capabilities, uh, helping parents to find their own inner resources and relying on their own expertise. And yeah. <coughs> so then uh, another approach which I found was this communal parenting support approach, um, which uh, kind of uh, they were side by side in the projects. Uh, there were some projects which were more focused on individual doing this individualized parenting support. But then, uh, in many projects, there were both of both of these, and um, the the projects uh, adopting this communal approach, they emphasize communality, uh, a kind of um, a wider sense of community, as well as peer to peer parenting relationships, uh, as a, as the foundation to support and strengthen parenting, and. This approach re relies on um, ideas about a lost and collapsed community and thus uh, fracturing traditional support structures and the individualization, individualization process extended kind of too far, causing, for example, ill-being of children and youth. But um, Interestingly, this uh, communal approach to parenting support relies on this peer-parent uh, parenting relationship, what I have named as uh, horizontal expertise on par of parenting. Um, but what is common for this approach uh, with uh, this individualized approach is that there is a um, kind of lack of shared values producing a need for parenting support and a kind of distant uh, uh, position of, of professional experts. Um, so, yeah, yeah. So it's a uh, kind of um, so that the experts are kind of trying to be uh, quite uh, far away and trying just to support parents to uh, kind of. Um, kind of strengthening their parenting skills together with other parents. 